Well, as you can see, today will be another busy day for firefighters across our state. Right now, several fires are burning. Thankfully, they haven't forced any evacuation so far this morning, but it will still be a tough fight to make sure they're all put out. One of the latest to start is the Adams fire. It's burning right now off of State Route 87. 12 News journalist Justin Pizera is live near that area northeast of Fountain Hills. And Justin, you can see from your vantage point just how bright those flames are. Yeah, you know what? When we were coming into Fountain Hills this morning, you could just see that orange glow over the mountains. Uh, you can kind of still see it just a little bit as the sun is coming up. You can for sure see the smoke from this fire. Uh, this actually started yesterday, and crews have been aggressively fighting this fire uh, from the air. They've actually been pulling water from Bartlett Lake and then dumping it on those flames there, trying to put this fire out, trying to get a hold of it. Uh, fire crews are telling everyone, though, that is at Bartlett Bartlett Lake to stay away from the aircraft that's been skimming that water to fill the tanks and then come back over here and then dump that water on the fire. About 500 acres, that's the estimate right now, has burned. Just up the road on the Beeline Highway, there is another fire burning. This is the Spring Fire, much larger. It's about 4,000 acres right now. The Tonto National Forest says aviation firefighters have done a really good job. It's stopping the fire around the perimeter. It is still at zero percent containment though uh, but that's only because the terrain in that area is very tough for those firefighters to get around there's about 140 people working on that fire right now at about six o'clock last night it did uh, there was an emergency closure in that area that was issued that's going to be in effect through July the 15th so if you do like to go out there and hike in that area go out there and enjoy that part of the uh, part of the the mountains there could be a $5,000 fine if you do violate that order. So just a heads up on that. That is in effect again through July the 15th. A couple of other fires that we've been watching, the table fire that was burning off of I-17 this week, and it did force part of the highway to shut down for a time. That has since been reopened. That fire is pretty much under control. And then another fire that did force evacuations, uh, several hundred people to evacuate uh, by Kearney and Pinal County. That fire has been pretty much contained. They just have a couple of engines that are kind of patrolling that area, but uh, all the other crews that were working that fire have since been released or reassigned. We're live just outside Fountain Hills. Justin Pazera, 12 News, Today in 